Our back to school coverage starts today with the first public school district in Northeast Oklahoma starting this morning. Katusa Public Schools is a small but growing district and that growth is something the superintendent is really keeping an eye on. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee spoke with the superintendent to learn what families should know about this new school year. Amanda, good morning. Good morning, Corey, Justin. So it's quiet right now. We have seen a few cars drive in and drive down to the bus. Actually, we have two buses pulling out of the uh, campus right now to go pick up students. Those stu te students, teachers and parents will be showing up to these schools in the next few hours to ready to kick off this school year. Summer has ended and the 2023-2024 school year is about to be underway. But first, Katusa faculty rung in the new year with some fun. Staff gathered for a welcome back event a week before the first day and they really brought the energy. Superintendent Robert Shornick tells me he's starting the year with about 98% staff, leaving only a few open positions. Special ed and support staff. I mean, that's where we're at right now. I mean, of course, that's a problem across the, the entire nation and also the state. Despite that, he still feels confident starting the school year. In fact, he says there are some exciting things to know about. First, for students, Shornick tells me that they have two new programs to offer. We're starting a new agricultural education or FFA program. And then, of course, uh, we're going to piggyback that with Foundations of Manufacturing through a strong partnership with Tulsa Technology Center. And we're just super stoked. It gives us, you know, it gives our kids pathways. It gives them opportunities uh, post high school. For the district, he's pleased to share they will now have even more security present. Katusa already has its own campus security officer, but now, for the first time ever, they will have a school resource officer on the grounds thanks to the Rogers County Sheriff's Office. Just their presence on campus. Um, it will help not eliminate, but uh, alleviate any type of any concerns that we have as it relates to, to, to safety and security. Also on the district's radar, construction projects. Construction on the new Katusa Elementary School is well underway, and despite the bond measure to add more classrooms to this project not passing, Superintendent Shornick says that he plans to not stop there and go out for the bond measure one more time. It's very critical for us as a district to ensure that we have all grades pre-K through five under one roof, and I can't stress that enough. Shornick tells me that the bond measure will be exactly the same as it was on the ballot in February. This go around, the district plans to take more time to educate voters and encourage more to turn out at the ballot box. The new Katusa Elementary School is scheduled to open in fall of 2024. If the bond measure passes in October, as Shornick tells me that those added classrooms will be constructed and ready in fall of 2025. In Katusa, Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.